Hi, my name is Cindy. I have two teenage children already. I'm pregnant with my third, and I've always wondered what it would be like if they had known me when I was younger. So this is my love letter to my third child that I am pregnant with right now. Hi, little baby. It's me, your mom. It's October 17th. 2021 and I'm not sure how far along I am but I can I'm definitely showing I think that I'm almost two and a half months not sure yet we are going to check in a few weeks this is Isa she is one of our family dogs and Tango is over here I don't know if you can see him right there Luna is somewhere else in the house probably with daddy Luna is daddy's favorite dog, or actually daddy is her favorite person. I'm not sure if she's his favorite dog. You have an older sister, Lonnie, and she is 15 years old. He has an older brother named Webster, and he is 12 years old. He's gonna turn 13 in December. It's our favorite time of the year. We're getting ready for Halloween and all of the fun fall activities. We already went to the pumpkin patch, at Cox Farms and we got two big pumpkins and I'm gonna get another pumpkin to do our birth announcements and hopefully you will see the pictures when they come out. I can't wait to do updates with you every week. I'm doing these videos so that you get a chance to know who your mother is while I'm young, well while I'm somewhat young. I'm having you later in life. I'm 43 years old and it's not unheard of for women to have babies in their 40s nowadays, but I did have my other children in my 20s and 30s. So this is a new experience for me. I've learned a lot about parenting over the years, and I hope that everything will be healthy with you. Oh, that's Isla. She likes to make sounds. Sometimes when Tango gets too close to her, she likes to make that growling sound. <laughs> She's very naughty. Okay, well, this is the first vlog about my pregnancy with you. And I hope by watching these videos, you'll get a chance to get to know us as we are now. And one day when you're older and watching these videos, you can look back on it and compare. All right, bye. Hi, baby. It's your mom. It's November 3rd, 2021. Look at you, you're almost like a little tiny basketball and I'm only in my first trimester. We just celebrated one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. And three of us went as characters from the show Squid Game. Squid Game's a popular show that's on Netflix right now. Me, Daddy, and your brother all dressed up as characters from that show. And your sister went as a character from Death Note. We also took the dogs trick-or-treating, two of them at least. Luna and Isa. Luna was a spider and Isa got to be a lion. Um, a week ago, we did another thing for Halloween and Tango, the third dog, got to be the lion. So we are really excited about you. We've told people that I'm pregnant and I got a big welcome. Um, speaking of Halloween, another Halloween that I really enjoyed was when our whole family dressed up as characters from Batman. I was Poison Ivy, Daddy was Joker, your sister was Batgirl, and your brother was Batman. That was really fun. And I'll show you pictures of that one day. When I was pregnant with your sister, she was the firstborn, I kept streaming the show called Carnival. And if you have a chance, I want you to check it out. It's really fun, it's kind of creepy, and you should watch this only when you're older, like teenager or young adult. But it is one of my most favorite shows from the past, and I'll be talking about my other favorite shows and other movies that I think you would love to check out or you might want to check out to get to know me better. And I want to give you an affirmation for today. And every time I do these videos, I'm gonna give you some affirmation. This one is, Create your own happiness. I heard someone say this and it really means something to me. No matter how you're feeling, 
don't rely on outside factors or other people to make you happy. Try to create that for yourself. Create your own happiness in some way. For me, it's art and dance and sometimes the streaming shows that I really enjoy. All right, next time. Hi, baby, it's your mom. It's November 15th, 2021. The last time I did one of these videos, there's been some current events that have happened and I'm gonna catch you up on them. So some current events happened in our lives as well as in the news. I'm gonna start with what happened in our family life. Behind me, this is Adam. He is one of our turtles and we inherited him from some uncles and aunts and we had them for about five years now. Lilith came with him. Lilith was his female companion. She passed away, unfortunately, last Thursday. We had to put her down. It was a really sad ordeal. She's been having some respiratory illnesses, um, especially during the winter months. She always has something she comes down with. But this time, while we were giving her the treatments, this guy, he took a bite out of her head. And sometimes animals do that. They will try to get rid of the sick and the old. It's just part of their nature that happens. Uh, we tried to help her, but the vet encouraged us that she was suffering too much. Oh, here comes Tango. I don't know if you, you can see him. I have my hoop with me because this is uh, one of the things that I love to do. And when you're old enough, I'll teach you how to hoop. And we can do all sorts of tricks. I taught Lonnie and Webster how to hoop too. And in the news, we have a, a sad incident that happened. Over 10 people died in Houston, Texas. They were at a festival where lots of people were doing performances. There was um, the finale artist was Travis Scott. And during that time when he came on stage, the crowd surged to the front of the stage, to the stage, and there was a stampede. I've been following it on the news and it's been absolutely devastating. It got to, you know, it got me thinking that if you do ever go to concerts or festivals, I hope you experience those things with me and daddy and your sister and brother first because we can help guide you on how to, you know, be the most safe at those festivals. And there are a lot of festivals and concerts where nothing bad like that would happen. But you should understand how to react when you're in a situation with tons and tons of people and what protocols to follow and what safety guidelines to adhere to. A lot of it's common sense that I'm sure you'll learn as you get older, but it's always um, reassuring for me as a parent to try to go through it with you. That being said, my advice for you this time around, I was talking to Lonnie the other day and we were speaking about um, how the five closest people to you basically make up your personality. And she asked me about that for me and I've gone through many, many friends, so it was kind of a difficult question to answer. But I came up with some advice for her and some advice that I want to pass on to you is that there's no such thing as a bad friend. There's no such thing as a bad friend. What does that mean? It means that if someone's acting badly towards you and they're your friend, then they're not your friend and you don't need them in your life. So life is just too short to keep on trying to work it out with people who bring toxic, toxic, toxic and negative vibes to your life. Um, So it's a lot easier said than done. And sometimes it's hard to tell when someone's not being a very true, sincere friend to you. You can also have that with family members who are, of course, nobody in this family is gonna be like that to you, but extended family members might be like that or in-laws. You just have to be very uh, conscientious of protecting your, your energy, protecting, um, how you don't don't put yourself out there 
to get hurt all the time. Put your also, yourself out there to let people know who you are, but you don't have to, you know, take all the punches all the time. So that's my advice. There's no such thing as a bad friend. And we watched the movie, we watched Narnia, The Chronicles of Narnia, the first movie, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. We loved, me and my husband, your father, we loved those books when we were little kids. So I would definitely suggest reading those books and watching that movie. I am so excited to go through this journey with you, even though you're in here and you're not gonna see these videos for a long time. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go to have a prenatal visit at Birth Care. And we're gonna see how we're doing next time. Hi, baby, it's your mom. It is November 22nd, 2021. I'm recording inside my car today because I'm at um, a gym where your sister is applying, which well, is actually interviewing for a job. It's her first interview for a job outside of volunteering, and I'm excited for her. Your brother is at Taekwondo and your dad is with him. We are excited because we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. That's one of my favorite holidays besides Halloween. And this Wednesday, we have some appointments in Vienna. And my mom lives in Vienna, so we're going to have Thanksgiving with her the day before Thanksgiving. And then on Thanksgiving itself, I'm going to cook everything and we're just going to have a nice Thanksgiving at home in Knoxville. This weekend, we had some a fun adventure. We went to DC for Van Gogh's immersive experience. It's a pop-up exhibit and it's a multimedia event showcasing the life of the artist Van Gogh and a lot of his famous works. It's very interactive, it's very immersive, it's, it was a lot of fun. I hope they have this type of exhibit by the time you're old enough to be able to experience it, maybe even when you're like three or four years old. I've been very nostalgic for some of the older shows that I used to watch like Once Upon a Time and Lost. I'm just mentioning Lost too because um, this was a show that was run before Once Upon a Time aired. And it's funny because they use some of the same cast members. Not a lot, but um, a few. Lost is an incredible show. It's an incredible experience. I hope they have reruns on when you're old enough to understand it and watch it. And Once Upon a Time, they do um, different takes on old classic fairy tales. And I love, love, love that show. So I think you would enjoy it too. When Once Upon a Time, you could probably watch when you're nine or 10 or even eight and really enjoy it. Um, so the thing, the advice this week that I wanna give you is to, you know, think outside of the box. I was just talking with your sister about how you can have, if you want a business, you can have a business at any age. It doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are. If you think outside of the box, if you want your own business, or if you want to work in a field in a different way than how other people work, that's when your creativity and um, your perspective that is different from other people comes in handy. So that is my advice for this week. Think outside of the box. All right, I'm gonna get ready for Thanksgiving and I'm sitting here uh, waiting for your older sister to hopefully she gets the job or at least she does a really good job in the interview. And I'll talk to you later, bye. Hi baby, it's your mom and daddy's with me today. It's November 28th, 2021. We just had Thanksgiving. So the day before Thanksgiving, your brother Webster and your dad went to the dentist. So we went to my mom's house because the dentist is over in her area and she cooked Thanksgiving dinner for us and it was so delicious. Very good. Then the next day I cooked and Webster and daddy helped. Very little. <laughs> and we had a Thanksgiving at home and it was very, very nice. We just saw a, an episode of Dexter. It's a new <laughs> season. 
It's one of our Not favorite. A kid show. <laughs> yeah, when you're older, maybe you can watch it. Um, but I'm mentioning it because it was one of our very favorite shows um, when it was on. It's been off the air for about 10 years and they just came out with another season. And we're getting ready for Christmas, so we're getting out the Christmas decorations. I put little bows on two of the dogs. I couldn't put a bow on Isa because she was chewing on it and protecting it. That's one thing you'll learn is not to give Isa anything when you're born. Um, an affirmation or advice that I'd like to give you is to be, be socially aware, but be self-aware. So a lot of times when we're doing socially conscious things, sometimes we do it without any self-awareness of, of our own actions. So be really conscientious of how you treat people, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because it feels good to do. Um, a lot of people don't have the emotional intelligence or empathy that they would like to be portrayed as having. I want you to really, really have it. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I think for now, currently, you should probably not be wanting so much soda and things because you're making mom drink too much of it. Yeah. Um, but later on, you know, just appreciate family and, um, you know, your siblings. I'm sure they're going to be lots of help. All right. And here is Luna. Luna has her bow on. We're gonna, I'm going to lift her up so you can see her holiday bow. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Bye.